Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. There's enough to be frightened about in this green earth from pandemics, global warming, not forgetting killer bugs and venomous reptiles from around the globe. Now there's a whole segment of creatures living down under which will make your skin tingle. These underwater creatures rarely come into contact with humans, but that said, they all have one thing in common. They reside in the deep blue sea. Here are 10 scary looking and fear inducing creatures. Number 10. Tasseled Wobbegong this is a mysterious shark. The name isn't too easy to pronounce. It's found in coral reefs along northern Australia, as well as the islands of New Guinea and Indonesia. The Wobbegong just chills on the sea floor, waiting. Don't be fooled, it's quite the skilled and gifted predator. The shark's color easily camouflages with the surroundings, making it easier to capture unsuspecting prey. It focuses on the spot directly in front of its head and pounces on its next meal with ease. The Wobbegong also has a secret weapon, a lure like a live fish which is constantly wagging. This attracts the bottom feeders such as squirrelfish and soldierfish. Normally, the Wobbegong opens its mouth and socks in its predator with its needle-like jaws just before swallowing it whole. Recently, a scientist discovered a Wobbegong eating a bamboo shark that was more than half its size. Half an hour later, the Wobbegong had still not successfully ingested the brown-banded bamboo shark past the head. This goes a long way to proving that slow and steady does count for something. Number 9. Deep Sea Dragonfish This is a vicious predator that's found in the deep, dark oceans and swims at 1,500 meters below. This is mainly in the north and western Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. Even though it's 4 inches long, its teeth are stronger than piranhas and it can produce light. Pretty crazy, right? A dragonfish has a large head, a mouth packed with sharp, fang-like teeth. It also has a long barbell attached to its chin. This barbell is tipped with a light-producing mechanism that acts like a fishing lure when it flashes on and off and waves it simultaneously. The dragonfish uses it to attract the attention of its potential meal. When an unsuspecting fish gets too close, the dragonfish's powerful jaws make mincemeat out of the dinner that's served to perfection. Let's now have a critical look at the fang-like teeth. They are made of nanoscale-sized crystal particles, and this makes the dragonfish's fangs transparent and tougher than other fierce fish predators. Marine biologists and scientists are fascinated. They're out here wondering if the dragonfish teeth science can help lead to innovating new synthetic material that's see-through. Only time will tell. Number 8. The Sheep's Head Also known as the sheep with the human teeth, it prefers coastal habitats alongside rock pilings, jetties, mangroves, reefs and piers. The sheep's head is a common North American species that swims from Cape Cod in Massachusetts through to Florida and as far as Brazil. How did the sheep's head get its name, you may ask? Maybe it's because of its sheep-like silhouettes, as some suggest, or perhaps its teeth that look like sheep's teeth. Sheep have teeth that have a very close similarity to that of humans. An adult sheep head will have very well-defined buck tooth incisors at the front of the jaw and three rows of molars in the upper and lower jaw. The strong and heavy grinders set at the rear of the jaw are great for crushing the shells of oysters, clams, barnacle or fiddler crabs. Like the humans, the unique teeth formation helps them chow down what's known as the convict fish. They're known to be smooth criminals, whereby they steal the fish caught by fishermen straight from the lines. Number 7. The Pacific Viper Fish This is a scream-inducing, nightmare-inducing fish that resembles a snake and lives at a depth of around 9,000 feet in tropical and temperate climates. Luckily, you and I may never see them. Human activity has little to no impact on these fish. That said, these fish are very scary looking. They're heavily equipped with photospheres, which are patches of bioluminescence extending along the length of its body. They have a high concentration of photospheres in the mouth as well. They also have a very long, thin lure that extends from their dorsal fin. The viper fish uses this light organ, flashing the light on and off. They use it to attract shrimp plankton and other small fish. Occasionally, they capture and swallow larger catches with the help of their muscled hinged jaws and their needle-like teeth. Viperfish are known to use these teeth to impale their victims by swimming at them at high speeds. Not only are they fast, but their teeth are so long they actually pop out of the viperfish's mouth. They can very easily poke their own eyes with their teeth. That's just epic. Number 6. Sea Spiders They have a long span of 6 inches to over 1 foot in length. This spider's story will cause you to sleep with the lights on. Arachnophobia is very real for people living on land. That said, breathe easy. This brand of spiders is not found anywhere near land. 
Also, they're not spiders per se. They live in the bottom of the ocean in coastal waters off of South America, South Africa, as well as Madagascar, down to a depth of 4.9 kilometers, and they've been there for a very long time, the earliest believed to have been 400 million years ago. Like the land-dwelling Danny Longleg spider, they don't have much room in their bodies. Sea spiders' guts and reproductive organs are in their long, skinny legs, as well as tube-like digestive systems similar to intestines. They feed by sinking their proboscis or trunk into soft animals like worms, jellyfish and sponges by sucking out the juices. They don't have gills or lungs and absorb oxygen through shell-like skin. A very cool thing about sea spiders is that after successfully mating, the male carries the eggs. The shape of the eggs is like donuts, and they wear them on their legs like jewellery. Whoa, looking lovely. Shout out to the fellas. Number 5. Jubin Squid This is something straight from another planet. The Jubin Squid is still baffling experts worldwide. There's still very little known about them. They swim through tropical and subtropical waters at depths of over 3,500 feet, only growing to about 4 inches long. And what's so cool about them is that they use their arms and tentacles to find food and glide the open ocean. Most squid have 8 shorter arms and 2 long tentacles for catching prey. Jubin squid is different in that 6 of its arms are longer than the tentacles and covered in lots of small suckers. Meanwhile, the tentacles are delicately thin and beautiful as they swirl and twirl, feeling the motion of the ocean. Maybe not so scary, but still, these dainty squid don't belong to this world. Number 4. Sarcastic Fringehead What a name! They're scary to look at and weird enough to have a sense of humor. It's a small fish that's 12 inches at most and lives off the coast of California in the Northeast Pacific Ocean. It's a tube lenny, meaning that they live in burrows or structures created by other animals like clams or empty snail shells. Some of the fringe head also live in soda cans and other man-made materials like water bottles. They eat a variety of different prey and are ambush predators. They like to hide and stake out prey in places that offer both protection and open view. They're known to be quite feisty and charge at anything that comes their way, including divers. It's been said they don't let go easily once they bite. Females lay their eggs in a male's shelter for protection until they hatch. This sexual selection by the females makes the males competitive and territorial. Sarcastic fringe heads challenge each other by opening their huge mouths towards their rivals. Their elaborate colouring and extreme size allow the larger male to dominate over smaller fringe heads. Many times, their mouths are thrust so close they're practically kissing. Eventually, the smaller fringe heads surrender and leave. Maybe they don't have a sense of humour. Number 3. The Stargazer One of the scariest ocean creatures. The stargazer has a horrific, angry expression on its upturned face that literally gazes at the stars. It's about two feet long, and its appearance never warns you of its deadly offense and defense strategies. These fish are a triple threat. 1. They're an ambush predator and spend most of their lives hiding on the seafloor at depths of 120 feet. Stargazers use their pectoral fins like shovels, digging beneath the sand and burying themselves, leaving only their eyes and mouths visible lying perfectly still. When prey swims by, usually small fish or crabs, the stargazer quickly lunges and the opening of its mouth creates a powerful vacuum for the stargazer to swallow the fish whole. They can also electrocute you. Some stargazers are bioelectric-genic, meaning that they can produce electricity like electric eels and some fish. A specialized organ behind their eyes allows them to shock predators. They can, however, harm humans and kill you, since they're also venomous. Some cultures consider stargazers a delicacy, but have to remove the electric organ first. Number 2. Goblin Shark This is the top scariest looking creature. A lot of mystery surrounds this creature from their numbers, how long they live, where they fish and reproduce. They lurk between 130 to 4,265 feet below the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. They have an unusual colouring from pinkish and purplish grey and a bright blue around its fins. It's not a cute creature and has flabby muscles, mushy skeleton and thin transparent skin. It hunts its prey using electric fields situated in its long flat snout. Its jaws are the master killer and make up 10% of the shark's entire body. The jaws are extendable to the snout. It ambushes fid, squids, and crustaceans. They're faster than most cobra snakes, and this helps in the ambush of prey. This shark grows to over 10 feet long. Number 1. Hagfish This fish is not an eel. I know it looks like one. It grows to up to 18 inches in length and has one of the most bizarre features. This includes eyes that can't see, four hearts, 15 sets of gills, as well as changing their gender depending on the season. They also have superb slime superpowers. This is what helps them lodge predators by producing a lot of mucus and thin protein fibers, aka slime, via glands that line their bodies. 
When the slime gets in touch with water, it expands into a transparent goo that fills the gills and chokes the attacker. This makes it impossible to devour. On the bright side, the slime is quite similar to spider silk, making it light and strong. It can be possible for researchers to produce hagfish slime silk for use anywhere. We currently use nylon-like petroleum-based stockings or workout clothes. The question begs, could hagfish yoga pants help save the planet? Your guess is as good as mine. Hagfish can clean too if there's a dead animal in the ocean. They're in a hurry to get there. They get into the carcass and live in there until it digests the food. The hagfish is sure helpful, doing its part in cleaning up the ocean. That's about it for today. Let us know which of the creatures you ranked number one out of our list. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.